Which you guys got another product review. This is the Xiaomi Mi Mi Max 2. It's a new release from Xiaomi. And uh, the screen panel on this one is the IPS screen panel, which is very colourful and vibrant. The screen size is pretty big at 6.44 inches, which means it's a big phone. Also, the screen resolution is 1920 by 1080 Full HD. And also, you're going to get the CPU Snapdragon 625 2.0 GHz octa-core. And the GPU is the Andrino 506 at 650 MHz. Also, you've got 4 GB of RAM, 64 GB of ROM, and an SD card that takes up to 128 GB. Now, also on this, you're going to get the latest operating system from Android at 7.1.1 uh, Nugget. Also, you've got the battery capacity is 5,300 milliamps, and it's a non-removable battery. The product size is 17.41 by 8.87 by 0.76 centimeters, so you can see it's pretty big, and the product weight is 0.2. 2110 kg now also here we've got the full specs for you in the video description so if you want to check those out you can do and i'll leave them all there for you also you can see inside the box you're going to get your user manual and your power adapter um, and also your power charging cable here to charge the actual device up now this is a pretty decent phone and i've been pretty impressed with it so let's get it open and let's take a look at it and run some uh, tests on it so all in all, I'm pretty impressed with this so far, but let's have a look at the bottom of here. Uh, you can see we've got uh, two speakers here, USB type C, and also a microphone inside here, which gives great sound from this particular type of device. And I've uh, been pretty impressed with the sound on this one. You've also got on the side panel here, you're gonna have your uh, dual SIM card tray, which takes micro SIMs and nano SIMs. It also uh, means you can put your micro SD card in one of them SIM slots there. On the top, you've got the 3.5 millimeter jack, which takes also a second microphone on the top and also an IR blaster on the top as well. So that 3.5 millimeter jack does play some beautiful audio if you've got decent pair of headphones uh, to plug into them. So look forward to listening to some of those uh, in the future. Also on the back here, we have the fingerprint scanner, which is a real high end feature on a lot of the high end phones. Also, you've got a rear camera of 12 megapixels with a flash and AF as well. Now, the build quality on this is pretty exceptional. It's made up of metal and glass construction, and uh, I've been pretty impressed with the actual uh, build quality. At 200, and I think it's 85 pounds, which is about 280 dollars. That's pretty outstanding at that price point. Let's take a look on the side here, the rocker buttons here. These are the metal rocker buttons for your volume and power button to power the unit on. And that's always nice to see metal there because some of them use plastic. In this case, they are metal, which is nice. And also you can see up the top of the phone, we have a front camera of five megapixels, a speaker and an LED light, which lights up white. Now, as you can see that screen there, it's a beautiful uh, large screen. So you can use this as a tablet, really, the size of it. And on the bottom there, we have a navigation menu buttons, which allows you to navigate uh, through your phone. You'll be familiar with that if you're using uh, Android. And you can see that uh, you will see a sharp, vibrant and colourful display uh, from that screen with the 1920 by 1080 screen display. And you can see the beautiful curved edges on this phone. It's really been uh, machined well, as you can see. I like the look of it. It's pretty easy to hold in the hand. It's non-slippery for me. I've got pretty big hands. And you can see here that champagne colour on the back looks pretty nice. And that is a metal back uh, on this one as well. And uh, of course, the temperatures are pretty good. Now we also have some modes inside here for the cameras. So if you like messing around with cameras and filters, this camera has plenty of features in here, far too many to cover. But as you can see here, plenty of filters for your photos, if you wish to add those on whilst you're taking the actual shot itself. And you can also shoot video in these modes as well. And I do like the camera on this. So let's run some benchmarks here. As you can see, the benchmark for this one is 63,781 which isn't too bad for the Snapdragon. It's pretty much the same across the board. Uh, internal memory, we'll just run a quick read and write memory test on this. And we'll see what it comes back with. And uh, it's nearly finished in here, so we'll just let this finish up. And as you can see, the read results are 224.14 megabytes per second on the read, and the write is 151.06 megabytes per second, which is pretty damn good. Also, let's take a look at Geekbench uh, 4 and we'll see what score that gives us as well. As you can see on the single core, 863. On the multi-core, we've got 4,142. 
Now also the uh, Wi-Fi on this works pretty well and you can see the downloads and upload speeds there. I had no problems downloading all the programs and games via this phone. It's pretty awesome the uh, Wi-Fi on this. So I'm going to look at the AIDA 64 and show you the specs here. This is the system specs of the uh, phone itself and it gives you all the internal memory and you have another sort of uh, internal storage that you've got in use at the moment. You also do a 128 gigabyte uh, ROM version. Uh, this is the 64 gigabyte ROM version. So I'm just going to show you some CPU uh, results here and have a look at the CPU. And you can see a 14 uh, NM, and also we've got eight cores here as well on this CPU, uh, which is pretty decent. And uh, we're going to slip back here and go to the display. And as you can see, uh, 1920 by 1080, and it gives you the screen size and inches there. And also the pixel density is 343 DPI. And uh, also you can see we have the GPU on there as well. So all the specs are listed there. You can pause the screen and uh, view them at your own leisure. I'm just going to go into the battery here. And the battery is 5300 uh, milliamps, which gives you a good, oh, well over two, uh, 12 hours on screen time as well uh, for that particular type of battery. It takes about four hours to charge, I think. Uh, but that's going to be uh, give and take, depending on what device you're charging it through, quick charge or something like that. Now, the Android has the latest version of Android, as you can see here. It's a non-rooted device, this device, as you can see on the screen. And uh, it's nice to have the uh, latest Android version. And the thermals on here are pretty decent as well. I've just finished all my benchmarks here. And uh, as you can see, the benchmarks are pretty damn good uh, for this particular type of phone. So we're going to move on now to uh, sensors. I'll show you the sensors here. And as you can see, all the sensors, there's quite a few of them. And you've got the gyroscope sensor here, which is uncalibrated at the moment. You also got GPS on this, which you can use GPS on here, which works really, really well. Didn't show it in this uh, video review, but it does work really well. Let's take a look at the uh, uh, game here. We're going to take a look at some uh, footage. As you can see, it plays really, really well. Uh, all the games and this is a pretty big download game this is a 400 megabyte file to download and it plays this game pretty easily also the sound I think you'll agree the sound is pretty awesome on that as well it did sound good to me and also uh, some YouTube play here it plays YouTube videos really well nice and smooth now I just wanted to show you the BBC website here it's a pretty hefty website to load up and you can see me scrolling through here there's no jerkiness or shuttering or stuttering from the scrolling so it's very sharp and, and uh, snappy and uh, zoom uh, works really really well and you can see those fonts they look nice and clear uh, pretty nice uh, fonts there, so I do like that on this phone. So all in all, it's a pretty decent phone. Now here's some photos I took. I took a photo here to, of a cactus to give you some idea of some definition that you can get. And I will zoom in a bit closer so you can see. And uh, it's pretty good. There's not much pixelation there, like uh, blurriness or nothing like that. So it's done pretty good, and I'll go in even closer. And you can still see them spines pretty well. So I don't think it's too shabby, the camera on this. It looks pretty nice. And I did one in the dark as well, as you can see here, with the flashlight on. And uh, that done pretty well. And I'll go in a bit closer so you can see that as well. And I'll zoom in one more time. And you can see the definition looks pretty good. I'm pretty pr impressed with that uh, camera. Now also I did shoot into the dark area way away so to try and get some distance view and you can see it does blur out a little bit and this is some daytime uh, video footage and you can see the quality is pretty nice. I do like the uh, video on this, it does pretty well and I uh, also did some video of this cactus to give you some idea of the depth of field when you try to zoom in to see if there's any issues there but this is night time as well with the light on with the camera light on when you're video filming and you can see it does an okay job I mean it's not a camcorder at the end of the day it's a mo it's a mobile phone so that's pretty much it for the review that is the Xiaomi Mi Max 2 I think it's a pretty awesome phone I want to thank Gearbest for sending it out for review would I actually buy this with my own personal cash yes I would I think it's a really decent phone and uh, people need to stop putting it up against uh, 
you know the Samsung Galaxy and also the iPhone because I think Xiaomi Mi is Xiaomi Mi it's a decent phone and if you want to pay that sort of money for a decent phone and get all the high-end features that you get on a real uh, big branded phone then you're not going to go far wrong by buying these Xiaomi Mi products because they're pretty decent anyway I'm going to wrap this one up my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys and I shall see you again in the next video bye for now Thank <laughs> you.